Hey, everybody, it's Ruby Thursday already. I love coming to you once a week. I really do. I mean, the only thing that I don't like about it is that you're not all just sitting here in my living room right now, and we can have a big chat-a-thon about what's been going on since you started the new raw food. Can you survive a 100-day challenge with Bunny Berry? Whoop. Challenge? I think that was supposed to be back there somewhere else, but I always get mixed up on when to do the karate chop. Okay, today my message has to do with the fact that many of us who have gotten into this raw food, food lifestyle are looking to educators, we're looking to personalities within the raw food community who are obviously 100% raw or very close to it, and we're looking at them almost idealistically, and we're thinking, wow, that's, that's the way I want to live my life. I mean, look at their bodies. Look at their minds. Look how sharp they are. I mean, when you listen to David Wolf talk, you're not sure if he's just that enlightened or if he's on crack. I mean, he is so articulate and well-read and no offense, Dave, but um, – I mean, you just, you just know sometimes in your own life, you're just like, I'm just not that on. And um, I'm not that 100% raw either. And so we, what we do is we beat ourselves up over it. We're just like, oh, dude, you know, I went out to dinner with my friend the other night, and I meant to order a salad, but, you know, those enchiladas were coming by my table, and I'm just like, uh-uh. I'll have the enchiladas. And then you eat it, and then you're in your car, and you're driving home, and you're like, and you're like, oh, God, I shouldn't have eaten those enchiladas. And then you go to bed and you don't sleep well because you're, like, gurgling in your stomach. And you're thinking, I probably shouldn't have that salsa either and because it's so spicy and with that fat and all that. And then you wake up in the morning and you're congested in your colon. And, I mean, it's ugly. It's ugly. I mean, that's how it is for me. You, Some of you crazy goats out there probably can eat anything and it doesn't really, you know, affect you in the way that it does me. But my whole point is, is that going raw doesn't happen overnight. And for a lot of us, like me, who have to practice with trial and error, it's certainly, you know, I've been wrong almost four years, and I'll go out and eat some crazy thing at a party like spinach artichoke dip. Hey, it's vegetarian. I can eat that. Chips, you know, a little pita bread. And then, you know, because I have a sensitivity to wheat, I'm waking up the next morning, and I can't get my wedding ring on my finger because I'm so bloated because I'm so acidic because my body doesn't know what to do with all this stuff. So, um, yeah, going 100% raw is probably like the ultimate thing a person can do. But what my point of coming to you today is to say, you know, do your very best. And we're dealing with emotional eating issues. We're dealing with wounds that we've had, you know, where we don't feel like we're worthy. We want to take care of everybody else but ourselves. So we're making sure that the kids have their lunches packed and our husband's all happy and you know, we're the last thing that matters. And I'm not just talking to the women here. I know a lot of you guys are like my husband. I'm just going to use him, and I know he won't mind. He will eat raw food. Every time I make a raw food meal, he's totally down with it, and he eats it. And then when he goes in, out with his guy friends, I mean, he's knocking back some Guinness or um, a barbecue dinner because he wants to fit in. And he has the constitution that it doesn't seem to cost him what it costs me when I go do something like that. But it will catch up. And mine, has, mine just caught up earlier just because we have a different um, biological constitution. But just I want to encourage you to the, the one point of this whole video is to tell you that your perfection is not as important as your consistency. I mean, I'm an artist. I'm one of those very artistic people that I am clued in and drawn to the next best thing. You know, whatever is going on, what's the next diet? What's the next level? And I've been at this for four years, and I can tell you, I mean, I have a bookshelf over here that I don't really want to show you right now that has every diet book I think that's ever been printed. And that is over there because I'm thinking about selling all that stuff either in a garage sale or saving it just to do a video and show how crazy I have been in my past. And behind me are my books that I have purchased over the last four years, and I can't seem to deviate from the truth and the reality of what the raw food diet actually does. It's the way that our creator created food. It was the way that our bodies were meant to eat. 
and it is a process. So if you start eating raw food and you're like, dude, I've got gas. I mean, I'm eating some raw vegetables and I can't handle it. Yeah, that's right, because your digestive tract is covered in mucus because your body's been trying to protect itself from all that processed, denatured, vitamin deficient food you've been putting in it. So you've got this mucus that's going to have to be washed out of your body. And Bunny's going to get back and talk to us a little bit more about how to cleanse that out of there. But don't give up. If you're having a hard time eating raw fruits and vegetables, go get a blender and start blending that stuff up because it makes it easier. It breaks down the fiber. If there's too much fiber and you don't know how to digest that, your system is not ready for that yet, blend it up. That's where a lot of people need to start. So I hope what I've had to say today makes some sense. I feel like I've been rambling, but I'd like to know how you're doing. If you've been at this raw food diet for a long time, you know, what's relevant to this conversation, we'd really like for you to share what your experiences are. And if you're brand new and you're not sure about it all, or you're having some challenges or questions, just put those down in the comment section of this video because we would love to answer your questions. And regardless of how you get them in, don't forget, eat your veggies. <laughs>